All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to install one of these dimmers on your dimmable lights. Uh, I've already installed one here on this new fixture we just put up. I actually missed a video on installing that one. Um, I had to do it in a rush, so I didn't do it. But uh, you can probably see it in my face, too, that it dims. And I can show you here. Right? It's pretty awesome having dimmers everywhere, especially when you have babies in the house. Sometimes you need the lights to be low. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna leave these lights on. It's for these four lights here. Uh, and we're gonna go turn off the breaker so we cut all power to the line. And then uh, we're gonna take it from there. So here's our breaker box. I have it pretty nice and labeled here. We're gonna turn off the lights and that's gonna cut light power to everything. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect this dimmer and uh, make it work. So here is our switch right here. So first we're gonna undo it. Take these screws out. You can see the switch is on, but lights are off. Then we are gonna unscrew this. Well, I guess we could do that with the straight head too. I'm actually just gonna use the automatic little thing I have here. It makes the job easier. So this screws. These screws are long, so, all right, that's out. This just makes the job faster and easier, right? Okay, so you pull this out once uh, you get those screws out. You see there's a bunch of wiring in the back and uh, whatever's coming in here has to do with the lights. So that power cut off everything, but just sometimes there is other wires that go, let's say to the outlet next to it. Um, so just be careful not to touch anything else. Um, if you're not an electrician, I, I probably shouldn't suggest you doing this yourself, but uh, it's fairly easy as long as you have the power off and everything's good there. So we're gonna take this off, pull these out. So one of these wires is coming from the breaker, which is gonna be the main power. The other wire is taking it to the lights. And this one on the side is gonna be your negative. Which always has this uh, green screw on it, right? All right, so that's out. Now we're gonna take this out. So you see this has one black, one red, and one red with a stripe. Sorry, this has some stuff on it. Oops. All right. So the green one is gonna be our negative, of course. It also comes with these awesome uh, little things here. You could twist on the wire, covers up the open wires and uh, also combines them together. So then you have a working switch. And take this out. Just want to make sure I remember the wires right. <clears throat> so yeah, the one with the white stripe red is not going to be used. 
And as far as the black and the solid red, uh, I believe they do the same thing. So it really does not matter which one you put where. Yeah, black and solid red wire on dimmer are interchangeable. So we are gonna take this, right? And one of the black wires, oops. And literally you can just place them right next to each other. Or you could twist one on the other. And, uh, but I just placed them right next to each other and just twist these on. And just make sure this goes all the way in, all the way tight. And do it by hand. If you do it with a tool, you'll probably end up cracking it. So solid red on the other one. Yeah, right next to each other and just twist. And then uh, we're gonna do the same thing for the green, for the negative. Of course, we're gonna have to twist this open now. We need to have pliers for that. All right. So now we're gonna put these next to each other and cover this up. Again, with these guys, the, the ones with the power, just make sure that you don't leave any open wires outside of this yellow thing. Also, I don't have any electric tape right now at the moment, but uh, electric tape would also be nice just to tape over this and then include some of the wires so it holds it together. Um, I will do that later on. Basically just start with the wire, wrap it until you get to the cap and get some of the cap. So then now uh, you're good. So that's that, right? The wires are in place. <clears throat> Want the switch at the bottom. And this one here, <clears throat> the red with the white stripe, there's a, a smaller blue cap that it comes with. So I'm just gonna cap this off. Cause once I hit the breaker on, this thing is gonna have power in it. So, and I believe this is made for a, a three-way switch where you have two different switches for the set of lights you're working on. So we're gonna cover that also electric tape that one, right? When you have it. And again, I will do that later for myself. So, and these wires, you can be a little rough with them if you need to be. Uh, just push them in, right? And then here's the negative. Before you start putting the screws on just make sure you can actually get it flat on there like that um, so then you don't have to take it back out and start pushing wires out and back and forth the whole thing you know so since we got that going and it's already pushed back far now I'm gonna put that screw in then I'm gonna put this screw in Oops. It's always better to start with a screwdriver instead of an automatic one because it's a lot easier to control and place. I'm just trying to center it. Uh, it's not all that important, but uh, having it even is the end result of it looking straight once the cover is on it right so what i usually do is i'll put the cover on it i'll straighten it out and then 
try to hold it in place while I tighten the whole thing, the rest of it. And then I'll give it one final look at the end, which looks great. So now, we're gonna put these screws back on it. Definitely don't do these screws with, with the automatic one. You can undo them with an automatic screwdriver, but don't tighten them with the automatic screwdriver because you'll just end up cracking your case, the cover, I mean. All right. Cool. Well, that's that. Let's go hit the, the breaker and uh, get it going. And here's another one I put on right here. Look, there it is. That's the hallway light and that is my living room lights. And once you put the dimmer all the way down on some of the lights, you can actually turn them off. And of course the switch on it uh, makes it easy to do that as well. And this one, switch on. This one actually turns it all off once you put the dimmer all the way down. All right, and here's the kitchen, is the one which I just did. There it is, full light on, dim down, it's huge. Uh, it also saves you money on your electricity bill, right? Having the light, uh, lights dimmed down when you don't need them to be so bright. But that's about it. That that's so easy, guys. Uh, you don't have to be an electrician, uh, but if you're not, you know you you should be so 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 careful, because of course dealing with electricity can be dangerous. Um, it's not it's it's not a good idea to do something if you if you don't know what you're doing. Make sure you get some help. Um, do some research. I've done a lot of research. I've done some electricity work before. I'm not an electrician. But um, I figured out how to do some things myself. It saves me money, saves me time. I don't have to wait until somebody comes out and I don't have to pay. Uh, mainly it's saving money and uh, putting my money somewhere where it is better for me to have it. Um, thanks for watching guys, thanks for coming by. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you do. And uh, I'll see you next time on another DIY video. Take care.